Join us at 10 Minutes Travel as we present to you 12 exciting things to do in San Jose, Costa Rica. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for our latest updates. San Jose, Costa Rica is often overlooked as a destination despite its beautiful jungles and beaches. Many travelers pass through San Jose on their way to other destinations such as Monteverde. However, it's worth exploring the city and its attractions before moving on. Although arriving in a big city can be intimidating, this travel video covers all the amazing things to do in San Jose, as well as provides information on the city itself, trip planning, and safety concerns. San Jose is the capital and largest city in Costa Rica, with a population of over 2 million. It serves as the country's business center and has a high standard of living and safety for a large Latin American city. San Jose has become the sixth most popular city in Latin America for tourism, largely due to the influx of visitors from the United States. Even though the city has a significant urban area, it is located in the heart of a tropical rainforest, and a brief drive beyond its boundaries will reveal the humid forests and exotic wildlife that are typical of Costa Rica. Here are the 12 best things to do in San Jose. Number 12. Visit Manuel Antonio National Park. If you're a beach enthusiast, don't miss out on the day trip to Manuel Antonio National Park from San Jose. It's arguably the best national park in Costa Rica, situated in a coastal jungle paradise with crystal clear waters for swimming, numerous hiking trails, and opportunities to spot wildlife such as sloths, monkeys, iguanas, and a variety of birds. You can easily book an organized tour from San Jose to reach the park entrance and begin your day's adventure. Once there, you can walk along a flat and easy hiking trail to reach the beach, where you can either relax or continue hiking further. This trip is considered one of the top things to do in San Jose and is worth the full-day excursion. Number 11. San Jose City Tour To get acquainted with San Jose, taking a city tour is the best option. There are various tour companies offering paid tours, which can include hotel pickup and transportation. If you prefer a more private experience with lunch included, a paid tour may be a better fit. However, if you're looking for a cheaper option and don't mind walking, a free walking tour is available. During the walking tour, you'll discover historical facts, architecture, and interesting stories about the city. Walking tours are an excellent way to quickly navigate the city and find places to revisit. Number 10. Visit the National Theater. The Teatro Nacional Costa Rica, also known as the National Theater, is a highly esteemed structure in San Jose. The building boasts opulent decor and numerous marble sculptures and was previously used to entice affluent visitors to the city and country. The theater still operates today, offering performances and tours. While it is included in the free walking tour of San Jose, visitors are recommended to return for a closer look. Admission to the theater costs 10 USD, and it is open Tuesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The National Theater is situated in the central area of San Jose near the Grand Hotel. Number 9. Explore National Museum In San Jose, tourists can explore various museums that offer insights into the history, culture, and politics of Costa Rica. The National Museum is one of the best museums to visit, as it showcases exhibits related to archaeology, anthropology, natural history, and Costa Rica's past. The museum is housed in an old fort called Bella Vista Barracks, which still bears bullet holes on its walls. Therefore, it is a must-visit destination for those who want to learn about Costa Rica's rich history. The museum charges 8 USD for foreign visitors, while students can enter by paying 4 USD. It opens daily at 8 a.m. and closes at 4 p.m., except on Sundays when it opens at 9 a.m. Number 8. Explore La Paz Waterfall Garden If you're interested in seeing stunning waterfalls during your trip to Costa Rica, La Paz Waterfall Garden is a must-visit destination. It's a privately owned property that offers a variety of attractions, including natural waterfalls, animal enclosures, a butterfly garden, a bird sanctuary, a hummingbird garden, and a trout lake. The largest animal sanctuary in Costa Rica, the property features five breathtaking waterfalls that you can explore along the trail network. The garden is located about an hour and a half drive from San Jose and can be visited independently or as part of a tour that includes transportation and a delicious lunch. Number 7. 
hiked to the giant hand at La Chimba Coffee Farm, I experienced a unique activity during my visit to San Jose which involved a brief walk through a coffee estate to reach a viewpoint that resembled a human hand. The trail named Hacienda Y Beneficio La Chimba, spanning over five and nine kilometers at La Chimba Coffee Plantation, leads to the viewpoint, with one of the trails being slightly lengthier for those who prefer hiking. The trail is easily traceable and, despite being a bit muddy and slick in some places, it is relatively simple with a gradual upward slope towards the viewpoint. We opted for the shorter route to the top and thoroughly enjoyed the experience. We arrived early in the morning when the plantation opened at 5.30 a.m. and trekked through the estate without encountering anyone else. The view was stunning. The plantation can be reached from San Jose by taking an Uber, and the cost of hiking the trail is 12 USD. The trail opens at 5.30 a.m. and closes to hikers at 2 p.m. La Chimba offers coffee tours, and there is a beautiful restaurant on the premises where visitors can dine while enjoying the company of birds. For those seeking an adrenaline rush, there is a zip line available. Number 6. Visit the Museum of Costa Rican Art. The largest art collections of San Jose and Costa Rica are housed in the Museum of Costa Rican Art, which contains a range of art forms such as sculptures, paintings, photographs, engravings, videos, and photos. The museum is a blend of indoor and outdoor spaces. It is now available free of charge and open for visitors on Tuesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 5. Visit a Butterfly Garden. Costa Rica offers a multitude of options for those who wish to visit a butterfly garden. This activity is considered to be one of the most popular and renowned activities in the country. The tours of the gardens usually commence with an informative video that discusses the life of the butterflies along with some intriguing facts regarding them. It is an ideal opportunity to learn something new. Afterward, one can explore the enclosure filled with butterflies and gain a closer look. The guide will provide additional information and identify the various species. It is a fascinating experience. An Uber ride can be taken to the garden of your choice, or you can join an organized tour that also includes a visit to a coffee plantation, making it a perfect option for those interested in both activities. Number 4. Visit Tortuga Island Tortuga Island serves as an ideal day trip from San Jose, Costa Rica. This petite island is solely accessible by boat and is a perfect destination for everyone, offering exceptional diving and snorkeling opportunities to witness a diverse range of aquatic creatures, including sharks, dolphins, octopus, and manta rays. Furthermore, Tortuga Island boasts astonishing beaches, hiking trails, and dense forests that offer canopy zipline tours. Visitors can also rent kayaks, paddleboards, sun chairs, and umbrellas, and purchase food and drinks on the beach. The most convenient way to explore Tortuga Island is by taking an organized tour from San Jose, which includes transportation, lunch, snorkeling, and a boat ride to the island. Number three, visit the Arenal Volcano and Hot Springs. The Arenal Volcano is a breathtaking site in Costa Rica, and although it is not located in San Jose, it is easily reachable. As a result, many people opt for a day trip to Arenal from San Jose. However, it is important to note that the drive to Arenal takes about three hours each way. Nevertheless, with the help of a good tour and guide, the journey can be just as interesting and picturesque as the destination itself. This tour is a full-day adventure offering an array of exciting experiences, including zip lining, waterfall exploration, and soaking in hot springs. Additionally, it provides meals and has received exceptional ratings from previous guests. Number 2. Day Trip to the Monteverde Cloud Forest Monteverde Cloud Forest is a remarkable forest that offers misty views, scenic lookouts, waterfalls, and hanging bridges. It is a unique destination that differs greatly from the bustling city of San Jose or the popular Costa Rican beach resorts. Visitors can expect to spot a variety of wildlife as well as interesting flora and fauna. It is possible to stay a few nights in the area, similar to the Arenal Volcano, with Santa Elena being the closest town. Surprisingly, Monteverde offers numerous enjoyable activities. Number 1. Head over to Jaco. Although it's not technically an activity to do in San Jose, it's worth mentioning that the town of Jaco is a popular tourist destination for those seeking a beach experience. San Jose lacks a beach, but Jaco is only a short hour and a half drive away. 
Many travelers spend most of their time in Costa Rica in Jaco, which has become a resort town with plenty of beautiful hotels to choose from. You can easily visit Jaco on a day trip from San Jose or stay for a few nights to enjoy the beach fully. A great holiday in Costa Rica involves both city and beach experiences, so splitting your time between San Jose and Jaco is a great idea. Additionally, there are many fun things to do and see in Jaco. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.